and I wanted to show you um, kind of like I'm wanting to reveal this peeky boo uh, peek a boo cup tumbler it is um, on my listings in Etsy and on my website at loveandthebling.com it's technically called the tropical beach aloha tumbler and um, I'm using a 30 ounce on this one that I'm going to show here shortly I'm going to reveal the actual decals behind the decals so I can show that beautiful glitter I'm going to show you what glitters I did use on this tumbler so here we go so to reveal the sticker actually I'm going to take the vinyl off this is the prepped cup get some light in here this is the prepped cup um, what I did was I already glittered it. I put my decals on it um, after um, I glittered it and then I did another coat of epoxy try to make it smooth and sorry if you hear this noise it's the heater I'm trying to get this room warm because the epoxy I use does need a temperature of at least 80 to 83 degrees inside the room and it needs to stay that degrees for it to cure completely. It's a fast cure KS resin liquidy split resin. So um, so I did glitter this cup. I already epoxied it once and then um, put my decals on it, spray painted it with three nice thin coats of white paint to make it as white as I can. And now I'm about to reveal the peaky boo so you can see it. Let me turn this light too. That's probably best, isn't it? <laughs> and then you kind of get a shade. Okay, so let's just start with the Aloha name. I did use several glitters for this cup. I wanted to try to do a Hawaiian colors because I'm using the word Aloha. I'm using um, some flower lays and some different flowers. See, isn't that beautiful? Um, you're going to start seeing some oranges, yellows, some bright hot pinks. See? Oh, isn't that pretty? This customer's really going to love her cup, I think. Um, I use the same, I try to get as close or, or perfect to the actual, um, here is the let me show you the first cup I did. You probably see it in the background. This is my actual cup on my listing. See all those beautiful colors? That's what you're going to see in a minute with all these when I peel them off. And I even have a flower at the bottom. So this is what you call a picky boo cup. peek a boo I think I always say pink a boo Sorry. pick a boo up. Isn't that pretty? Let's do a flower. Let me do this bottom flower and see what it looks like. I try to, to um, lay my um, glitter out as it's turning. Actually what I did with, with what I do with my peekaboo tumblers is I do a thin layer of epoxy with my, um, I put it on a thin layer with my finger. Don't put it on the turner. And I have it on a stick, of course. I have the tumbler on a stick. And I'm, you know, precisely putting the glitter as I want it and turning it where I want it. And then when I like it, then I'll put it on the turner to let, to let it cure its first cures. Isn't that pretty? And of course, it's going to need a second coat. So then I do another second of coat, coat of epoxy to make it really smooth. And then, only then, do I um, put the decals on it when I know it's smooth enough. Because once you start putting the decals on it and spray painting, all those small, what you think is insignificant bumps, for, you know, whatever, is going to show up tenfold when you put your spray paint on. Mm 
I'm trying to videotape this with my phone. I can't wait to get a camera. They're just kind of pricey. I looked at one that I I kind of had my eye on, and that everyone that I that I've been watching on YouTube has been using. It's a Canon Mach 2, Mark 2, something like that. And on Amazon, that is like $499, and that's just, I can't see spending that right now on a camera. I can see spending that on, you know, on a hoop, embroidery hoop, but not on a camera right now. Not when my Galaxy S21 is what I'm using, that's my phone. Not when I, I mean, that the phone can do just fine. And um, I upload it to my software, my video software that I just got. The video software I just got, I mean yesterday, just got, um, is the Mo Movivi, Movivi, I don't know how you say it, but I got that software for video editing, so my videos can be a lot more, I don't know, eye appealing, I guess you can say, you know, transition well and have a cute title and songs, stuff like that. I'm not good at all that stuff. But I used to use a while back, a long while back, I used to use Camtasia, which I really loved. Um, but that's kind of pricey too. That's like, I don't know, $300, two, $250, something like that for that software. But I don't have it anymore, so tried something else. So I won't go to, through all this, but I wanted to show you as you pe peel off the your vinyl, you're gonna have something called a peekaboo, just so it's glitter glitters peekabooing. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so without further ado, I want to show you. Um, this is what, of course, what the cup is going to end up finally looking like. This is already fully glittered, two layers, it's beautiful. This was my sample cup that I put on the Etsy listing. Isn't that pretty? So, once this gets all de-decaled, de and I'll put this under the light so you can see it. Once this gets all de-decaled de and peekabooed, it's going to look really pretty. And it'll get all glittered and everything will be shiny. So without further ado, I want to show you all the glitter I used for this tumbler. So this glitter is from um, Michael's. I don't remember the name of it. But I, that's why I have it in this type of shaker, shaker. It's from Michael's. This is from Glitter Guy. It's called Pinkle. Pink Pink. I use a little bit of Hot from Glitter Chimp. Blue Lagoon from Glitter Chimp. Cabana Blue, Pumpkin from Glitter Chimp, Banana, you'll see that yellow in the cup, that's from, it's called Banana from Glitter Chimp, and this is, I think, Hot Orange from Michaels, so, and then I, and I also put all my, you know, colors together, so I have like a multicolor, in case I want to do a keychain, I'm going to do a multicolor, like a keychain, shape as a cup or something. So those are all the glitters I used for this cup. This cup right here. It's all the glitter I used for this cup. And I do offer this style in a peekaboo, or I offer it in not painting it white, leaving all the glitter to show, and put white decals where the flowers and the aloha name is. So just white decals, so you can see all the glitter. Really, is someone whatever preference want someone wants on their cup. So that's what this video is all about today, and I wanted to share and show with you what a peekaboo is and how it look, how my Aloha cup looks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.